everyone, and welcome back. 618 in the morning, 39 degrees. It's time to head to the tent. When I looked at the weather, it looks like we're gonna be, I'm only gonna be up there for two nights. And it looks like the highs are going to be around 50 and the lows will be down in the 30s. My dad was just up to the folks cabin. He actually came home yesterday. And he was up there for two days and got uh, their place all opened up. But it's been really windy. Uh, my brother Chris and his wife Teresa, who you see in all the duck hunting videos, they're up there right now for opening fishing. They go up for to some family property that's only maybe 45 minutes from the tent. And it's been so windy that they haven't even been, really been able to go out on a boat on the lake. They said it's just, it's just not nice. And they got a much bigger boat than I have. So I don't know if it's gonna be windy up there today or not, but uh, we'll see what happens. George was up to his place probably two weekends ago. I don't know, 10, 12 days ago. There was still ice covering the lake and there was still snow on the road into the tent. But now, it was, last week was real warm and everything has opened up and the snow is gone. And My dad was real worried that he wasn't gonna be able to make it in there, but at least he could make it in there without any trouble. Stopped here at the W and got some worms and filled up with fuel. I didn't need much fuel, but I like to leave on a full tank. Water levels have been real high because last week it was warm, which is melting the rest of the snow up north. And then there was quite a bit of rain last week also. It'll be interesting to see what the rivers and the lake looks like. I'd say that water is way up. Was that last summer? That I, this is the river I came to where I walked right down the middle of it, just walking on the rocks because it was so low. Even when it's not low, you can walk all the way to where those, that brush stuff is there. Definitely gonna have to get that wood stove going right away and put some long johns on, it's chilly. dad was up here just a few days ago like I was saying and all these dead balsam now from that whatever kind of a pine I don't know some kind of a beetle that's has killed them almost all off now that when it gets windy out it's starting to blow them down and my dad said he had like five I think seven little trees that were down like this little one right here he had to cut up to get through and then when he turned around and came back out, there was two more that he had to do. And I imagine it's gonna be like that all summer.
There's definitely been some shenanigans going on in here. <laughs> Otherwise, I guess it doesn't look too bad in here. Heat from the wood stove feels good. Brought up some potatoes. Brought up a thing of fish fry. I don't know. Like I said, my brother Chris and them are uh, are fishing, but it's been too windy to go out during the day with the boat. And I'm talking to my dad this morning. He was talking with my brother Chris, and they haven't even caught any fish yet. So I don't know how it'll go, but opening fishing usually. Uh, usually it's not a whole lot of fishing going on. That more happens towards Memorial Day. I brought up some canned vegetables. I'll bring some more up when uh, next time I come up here. I don't like to. I like to bring some up here right now, but you never know if we're still going to get really cold. I did remember some heavy duty tin foil. They didn't have the big one though, they were all sold out of it. It's getting harder to find the stuff that you really want. And I brought up some more Ziploc bags because eventually there's going to be some fish caught up here. found this. It's one of these uh, candy bracelets. I don't know how they... The top must have not have been screwed on there tight because I don't know any animal that can just go in there and... Well, I guess it doesn't go super tight so you wouldn't have to do much to get in there. Well, hopefully they're... Looks like they are eating the snacks that I leave for them here. Feels good to get up here. We're driving back and forth to Louisiana, getting the house finished down there. And, uh, you know, spring here at the farm and everything, it was just like, man, I need to get up here for <laughs> a day or two. The worst part is I have to turn around. I'll stay up here for uh, tonight and tomorrow night, and then get home on Wednesday. And then Thursday morning, I got to get in the truck and 1,400 miles back down to Louisiana. Not looking forward to that, but I think that will be the last trip I have to go down, so that's good. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then you haven't been watching the videos over on the Northern Seclusion channel, so you'd have to get caught up there. All right, I think we're back to normal.
This time of year, you got a lot of hungry bears. I was going to bring out my 35 Marlin, but I decided to just bring out my 12 gauge. I've got 3 inch Magnum slugs up here, so that'll do the trick. The Clint Eastwood collection. Fistful of dollars, few dollars more. Good, the ba bad, and the ugly, and hang them high. $9.99, I had to get it. <laughs> So the last day I was up here was on March 16th, and today is May 16th, so two months. And it was 72.5 inside and 37.8 outside. And when I showed up here it was 49 outside and 43 inside. I put a trail camera before I left. I have them on the driveway and stuff, but I have one here on the back of the tent, which I've never had. And this is when I was leaving after the last time deer hunting. Look at that wolf. <laughs> I got a back there. The heck, let me look at that. The date isn't right. This is a, I think this was Zachary's camera and I just threw it up there because I had batteries for it. So I don't, the date, I have no idea. Man, the snow got deep, huh? There I am, shoveling for the winter trip. that is right there. I should zoom you guys in on these. Oh that was a, there's a wolf over here. Oh I think he's jumping over. But let's see. So there This says 426, which it's not, but we can still do the date. This is ten, six hundred, three days later. Four days later. I just posted on my community Facebook that I'm up at the tent with pictures, so now my phone's going to go off a lot with all the uh, notifications. Let's see, there had to be something that happened in there. Oh, that's my dad. Just a couple, just a couple days ago, so nothing really happened in between there. <laughs> and then I'm here today. This is the one uh, out on the dock. And this is when I was covering up the motor on the boat. That was right at the end of deer hunting. This is the 20th of November. This is the 7th of December. So 
2nd of January. No idea what they took a picture for. And there I am coming in on March 14th. And there I am leaving on the 16th. This is May 4th. Today is May 16th. Look at all the ice on the lake. That's the 7th. And that's the last picture it has. So this year was what, 9 days ago? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 50, 40, 50, 16, nine days ago there was that much ice. <laughs> it's weird, you know, once the snow gets so deep, nothing really happens. It's just... Just snowy and <laughs> quiet. There's me coming in on the 14th. So this is what it did. I was just going through all the winter ones like this. This is after I left and then I don't know why there's a picture of just the light on. That's really kind of strange looking how you can just see the light. I must have left that light on overnight. That kind of looks eerie. <laughs> but then here, I'm right here. So this is now the ending of deer hunting. We'll see what happened after deer hunting. If any animals, oh wow, did you see that? I'm, am I still, I'm still up there then too. Look at that snow. No, I must have been gone by then. What was that? Little fox. That's it. This is Christmas Day. I wouldn't mind being up here for Christmas one time. I always likes these sticks that the beavers chewed on. And that wind has been blowing this way and with that beaver house right across by the island, some of these have blown in.
Gotta love that boat motor. Four pulls, three to get it to, well, three, five pulls. <laughs> Started up and it's just been sitting out all winter with a bag over it. Every year. This afternoon, if the wind doesn't get too bad, we'll run out in the boat. And the wind is coming out of the north right now, and that's the horrible for all my good fishing spots. If it comes out of the south, or the east, or southeast, then all my little bays are calm. That water's cold right now, though. I don't think a whole lot's going to be moving around, but you never know. Plenty warm in here. I've been here one hour and 57 minutes. I need to set that clock to the right time eventually. Just had a little one hit on it and then I figure ate it up by the boat and it kind of hit it again. It wasn't a very big one. finicky right now. I got about six feet from the boat and boom it hit it but it didn't grab it.
All that work for that little fish. <laughs> I think we'll throw him back. Maybe that wind will die down later and we'll go give it another try. I did the time earlier before lunch, so now it's 2.53 is the actual time. 79 in here and 54 outside. I see the swing here out by the lake finally gave way. You can see right there that she finally rotted through. I don't think that it's... I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it to just replace that bottom part or just build an entirely new swing that matches this one. This one looks so cool though because it's old and... I don't know. Maybe I will look at it and just try replacing that bottom. Yeah, I think just this one needs to be replaced. And then like I said, a couple of these could be tightened up a little bit. It looks in bad shape, but it's actually in pretty good shape. Bring that back to the workshop. She'll be good as new. I'm gonna run over to my folks' place. His swing has some rotted, like the seat boards. And he said he was gonna replace them, but I don't know when he's gonna get around to that, so maybe I will make some and bring them up here. Let's go back and check that deer stand that Zach built last year, see how it's doing. Looks good on the outside. Yep, totally dry in here. Still smells exactly how it did last fall. <laughs> you 
I think we'll go inside after I take a look at the his swing over there and uh, take a look at that table now that it should be sitting in here. I know he brought it up here. And maybe we'll go in the workshop and I'll show you the other one if you guys didn't watch that video. He makes that furniture and he has a few pieces now that he's thinking about selling just to see what he could possibly get for it. So I posed that question, but I was super busy at the time. And I read all the comments but never really got back to it. Uh, I just had too much going on that week. And now that we're up here, we might as well take a look. Well, you can see here how, you know, they've just rotted. It just sat and this got full of pine needles and then rained on and it didn't get used for a few years. And then this thing is pretty old too. And it rotted away. And the way they have these, they've got them all, you know, fancy and curved down. And they don't have to be that way. They definitely, the important thing is this log is higher than this log and it is by quite a bit. So we can just put flat ones on there and nobody will ever know the difference if you didn't see this video. So I'm just gonna see how wide these are, count how many they are, and then we'll just have to, you know, bring a jigsaw. I mean, he should, I don't know. That's gonna need to be fixed too. Well, this is in there and that's solid, so it's not going anywhere. I don't know, this is getting bad too. Just so I don't forget, some of these are three and three quarter, some are four and a half. So these are gonna be four and a quarter inches wide and 20 inches long. And we need 13 of them. When he built that back part, that was for to put a smoker in there. And then he bought a smoker and he's had it at his house now for, I don't know, a year, maybe two years. He said it doesn't really work. I, there's something about keeping it burning or something. I've never looked at it and seen it, but he said he's gonna bring it up here. That pretty much fit in there perfectly. I see he doesn't have this mounted on there yet. He really wasn't up here all that long. But it looks nice with that varnish on there now. He had said that he might, wasn't sure about the height on it, so I don't know if he'll drop that down a couple inches or, let's see if you sit here. No, I think that's probably, that could be down a little bit more. I mean, what's the difference? This one here is the one that was there. I mean, that this back here is just railing, but the table itself. If you guys have been here a long time, you remember when he built this one with the poured top in here and agates and all kind of different stuff in there. Fishing lures. Here's another one that he built that just sits in the corner between the couch and the chair. But the ones that he talked about possibly selling for sure was this one because like he said he can just build another one gives him something to do this one right here And there's one in here. Oh yeah, it's right here.
This one's a little harder to see. I mean, it's dusty and the lighting isn't super good in here. And I'm casting a shadow, but it has the diamond willow, aromatic cedar, leather, more diamond willow. And under here, he actually has a burl. Yeah, kind of a cute little table that he built, and then there was really Nowhere that it fit, he thought it would, and then it didn't. Well, that's enough over here. Let's head back to the tent. I should probably cut these trees <laughs> down that are growing around this boat trailer. This is actually the boat trailer for the boat that I have down in Louisiana, which I will be bringing up next week, and the trailer that's underneath that boat, which is in Louisiana, is actually the trailer that goes for the boat here that I have and use at the tent. I just felt that the other trailer was a much better trailer than this one. That's why pulling the other boat down, I wanted a, a better trailer than this one. I saw earlier that behind the outhouse had a tree that blew down. It must have really got windy up here because there's a lot of branches in the tent yard this year. And it just snapped that tree right off. Things aren't a whole lot better, but we'll go give it a shot for 15 minutes or so and see what happens. No hits yet. Every time I go fishing, people complain, why don't I switch baits? And it's like, you know what? <laughs> if I'm deer hunting, I'm totally into it. When I'm fishing, if I catch them, I catch them. If I don't, I don't. <laughs> Just give me my spinner bait. I don't even bring my tackle box out here. If I lose this lure, I'm going back. All I have is this, a life jacket, a net, and something to weigh a fish because this time of year I, it might be probably a little bit too early but when them females start spawning we've got some big northerns out of this lake but we usually weigh them or take a picture and get them right back in the water anything over five pounds don't bother we i, I don't eat it i throw it back plenty of two pounders to put in the fry pan when they're biting I think we'll go through the narrows and go around the other side. We'll actually be way back there, but on the other side of the land. I want to see if those osprey are up in that nest. They have not been there now for three years. They were always there too for so long, and then suddenly one year, they're just not there anymore.
see them up there. That nest doesn't look as big as it used to. Normally, if I would get this close, they're flying around making all kinds of noise. Right up there on top of that tree. I'll give it a few casts in this bay since it's calm and call her a night and try again tomorrow. I'm sure with the cold water and then yesterday it got to like 75 degrees up here and today I don't think we got over 53 so some kind of a front came through. I think we'll head back to the tent. I had one cast here and I, it got hit three times in that first time. There was some weight to whatever it was and I must have cast it ten times over the area just back and forth and never got another hit. And it came up, I kind of blew it because it was one of them ones where they come up from behind so it takes all the slack out of your line. Yeah, <laughs> got kind of excited there. I could feel the weight. Let's go back to the tent. Looks like I need to straighten out the dock. <laughs> Oh, I think it's time we throw these steaks on. I just got beef chuck steaks. 
It won't take long to cook. I brought pork steaks up for tomorrow night. I won't be able to eat all that steak, but that's a nice looking tent dinner right there. Okay everyone, well it's time for bed. You cannot see it good on this camera, but that moon is incredible tonight.
I can see the fish swim right around it, but it won't bite it. Come on. I think that's a bass, maybe. Come on. Come on, dang it. They're a little finicky this morning. It's a real nice morning, a little bit chilly. Lake was like glass for a while now. We're getting a little bit of wind that's starting to come in. I don't know how windy it's gonna to get today, but this is nice. Well, just like every spring when I come up, I like to go check out and see how the water is flowing in those couple of spots. And since there's been so much water and everything seems so high on the drive up, I'm kind of interested to see it. I'm gonna go this way, not the way I came in. So I don't know if there will be trees over the road that I'll have to cut or not. Oh, it's muddy. <laughs> This truck is going to be so dirty. I see this is underwater. It's, it hasn't done this for a few years. I mean, I've seen it do this before, but. I don't remember this ever being underwater like this. Was it? It's all from that same body of water, but this is just running right down. <laughs> never seen it like this.
This doesn't look a whole lot different here. Last year, remember, this culvert on this side was completely stuffed from the beavers and they must have came and cleaned it all out. It's always so peaceful here. Not sure how good you can see that, but the water up here, we're far enough north so that all of this is running towards Canada. This is actually pretty good on this last stretch. I thought for sure there'd be trees down because you can see the dead balsams. So far, so good. There's a rough grouse sitting on the road right there. A few weeks ago I emailed Nancy because they live on the lake and she said this stretch now that brings me back out to the tar looks completely different up here. She said the Forest Service came in and did a lot of clearing so I'm interested to see, the, see what that looks like. Look at all the dead balsam though. Doesn't look like much on this end. Oh wow. <laughs> they just cut it all down. They must have had logging companies come in and just log it. I think last year with the fires up in northeast Minnesota, they're just getting a little bit worried and they need to clear some areas out because where that area was, I mean, it really burned. This will actually be good because as the new stuff comes up, it'll give more food for the deer. They really don't have a whole lot to eat up here until they clear cut. And the new stuff comes up. It's weird that, you know, winter comes and there's so much snow up here and I'm sitting at home or down in Louisiana or wherever, waiting to go on the winter trip. And meanwhile, all of this is happening. <laughs> you think everything shuts down, but that's when they do a lot of their logging because they can get in there. Everything is frozen, no getting stuck in the mud. back here and check that one spot that I check every spring. George was up here, he sent me a picture of it, the water was really running, that was, uh, I don't know, 10 days ago or so.
you really can't come here and sit and watch this without just taking a deep breath. see another grouse on the road on the right side I think I see yep there's another grouse I tell you I haven't seen any deer but seen a lot of grouse Well, I won't be able to eat it all, but it sure smells good. I was going to go out fishing a little bit after lunch and all of a sudden the wind picked up. I think it'll die down later tonight though. So I decided for the last hour here to edit on this video. It's the last farmhouse video after I got back from Louisiana. And then after this one I'll have this video to do and then I'll end up editing this, a lot of it, on the hotel going down to Louisiana when I go back. heating up some water for an eventual shower. I was gonna cook pork steaks tonight, but I have no need. I still have chuck steak left over from when I cooked last night, so I'm just gonna have that for supper. I have to leave early tomorrow morning because I have to go way west. Don't really have to go north. Anyway, I've gotta go pick up a potter's wheel for Melissa. And uh, I have to do that in the morning before I head home, so it's going to be <laughs> quite a lot of driving for me tomorrow morning. Still waiting for that wind to die down. Not sure it's going to happen tonight or not. It was sure nice getting up here to the tent, though, just for a couple of days like this, get everything opened up and ready for the summer season. Guess I can go dump these ashes from the winter trip now. Just getting rid of anything that Mr. Squirrel might want to chew on. My next time up here, that's going to be my thing. I'm going to get that sealed off. I've seen him outside uh, 
yesterday. I thought about taking care of the problem, but it's like, you know, it's out of season, which I'll probably get caught. And <laughs> it probably has little babies coming now, so then I would feel bad. So, yeah, you can have free run of the tent here for another couple of weeks, and then I'm blocking them out. When I told Melissa about it, she goes, well, at least you're not up there alone. <laughs> Well, I just talked to Melissa on her way from home to her pottery class tonight. The wind hasn't really died down much, but on that far side where I fish, the way the wind is coming is kind of calm. So I was just going to pull the boat in, but let's run out there, give it 10 or 15 minutes, see if anything's biting, and then we will get the boat back up on shore. Nothing happening over here. I think we'll run over by that island that had the ospreys and give it a few casts there and call her a night, get everything cleaned up. I was going to walleye fish this point of land right here under the water there's like a rock ridge that goes out and there's even a rock pile out here that I've hit my uh, boat motor on going over it that's where you'd catch walleyes you can also catch them in the first narrows that's where my dad always caught them I just prefer fishing for northerns you can also catch bass which we've caught uh, sunfish I just like catching northern pike. Just got too close and my prop hit the rock pile. <laughs> Hope I didn't do any damage to it. Got a few walleyes along this side too.
I have no hairbrush in my bathroom bag here. <laughs> Usually my hair is always so short I never need to use a brush. So the tent has been here like 18 years. I mean I have everything. Soap, toothpaste, toothbrushes, women's stuff, all kinds of first aid stuff but I've never had to have a comb or a brush up here. Usually I would have my other bathroom bag which has everything but that travels with me to Louisiana and everything and this time I just left it in the bathroom at the uh, farmhouse because it's like I have my bag up here. <laughs> I got all the SD cards put back in the cameras and everything put into its proper place. Two dishes to do. on this old vacuum is on its last leg, but I think I've thought that for a couple of years. <laughs> Somebody asked me what kind of a vacuum that was in some video, and it's just a Kenmore. I got it from my folks from their old cabin, because the new cabin that they have has no carpeting in it, so they didn't need one. Okay everyone, well it's about a quarter after 10 so it's time for me to go to bed. I'll wake up early tomorrow and head home. Good morning everybody. I think I'm going to bring the bedding back this time and get it all washed. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. Nice short little trip up here to the tent. Get it all opened up for the summer months. Do a little fishing. Can't wait to get up here next time.
see you guys on the next video.